Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm pouring paint. <laughs> For those that of you that caught my live video um, the other day, this is actually recorded straight afterwards. And I loved that colour combination that we did on the pig so much. I was like, hmm, I want to use that again. I want to use that again. So, I don't have any more of the light blue. But I did, um, did realise that I do still have some of this green that I have used. I used on that tree ring pour. Um, so I'm going to replace the light blue with a light green. So hoping that will come out cool. Uh, so let's start it off with a bit of white first. Oh, what am I pouring on? What's that weird thing in the background, Michelle? What are you talking about? All right. So this is a candle candle bulb. Um, I was trying to work out how I was going to do it and I started wrapping string around it to hang it from my tripod and pour it upside down. Um, but it didn't work so it's not happening that way but what I did find was this uh, McDonald's slushy lid that they float down my driveway we live five doors down from McDonald's so every now and again these things float down my driveway and I instead of cussing at the obnoxious brat that dropped it I express my gratitude pick it up I wash it and I use it I have um, so that sits quite nicely in there, I thought. Um, and I have wrapped masking tape, painter's tape, whatever you want to call it, around the metal part because I really don't want that bit getting paint. So that's how I'm pouring it. So let's go back to filling our cup. This is the cup that I was using for the pig. So since we're pretty much using the same colours, I don't have a point of view about using these again. I got some amazing cells on the pig. Oh, what is that? Weird is what that is. It's almost like the water separated out. Um, so that is burnt umber. And then I'm going to put some copper. Oops. I'm holding it behind my camera and I'm not actually seeing what I'm doing. That's really silly. Okay. Let's do that in a different angle. So this green is made from Viridian Hue. And... Or is it grass green? I can't remember. I mixed it for my giant sign and I can't remember. I think it's, it's cobalt blue and I think Viridian hue and some white. Um, now, so that I don't end up with crimson beside my white because I don't like pink I'm going to do it that way this is Prussian blue see I got it right that time I'm not going to get in trouble am I um, put a little bit more copper And then a bit of Viridian Hue, because I love Viridian Hue. And this is way too much paint. So let's give it a bit of a stir. See what happens when we pour it. 
over this gorgeous light bulb. The question really becomes how much paint do we actually need on that. Um, and my response to that would be enough to cover it all. Wow, look at those cells. Yummy. Can't really see it. Let's see if I bring it around that way. Do you get better light? So it's covered this side completely, but we need some more on this side. But I don't want too much because it's just not going over that lip. There we go. And that one too. Now, some of you are saying, oh, can you paint light bulbs? Do they work? Does it cook? Do I, I don't know. I've never done it before. It's part of the challenge. The, the July challenge for the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group is 3D pour on something you've never poured on before. And when I found this light bulb, I was like, oh, maybe that. So, we will see, we will test it, we will try it, we will have a look and see what it does. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. What else is possible? Hmm. Just wondering how else I can get a good view for you, because that's... So I'm going to torch it and see what happens. Somebody was saying in the um, in the go live where I did the pig um, that it looked like a um, one of those eggs. Ooh, look at that! One of those really expensive eggs, um, porcelain painted eggs. But I think this one looks more like the porcelain painted egg. <laughs> ah dear, let me get you down and show you up close. Okay, that's better lighting isn't it? So you've got the copper coming through. And you've got some pretty awesome cells up here, look at this. Wow! I really like this side. This is cool. Super duper cool. Gee. All right, guys, I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back once it is dry to show you it. And, um, duh. see what magic it's created for us. I do you. I'll be back in three, two, one. All right. Well, it's all dried, and I really, really like it. Um, it's really taken the shape of the light bulb. That back piece is a bit weird. Um. So, yeah, it looks cool. Um, I'm going to have to take it out of its little standy thing and see. 
I'm glad I put some tape around the bottom of that. Come on, one hand is not the easiest way to do this. How'd you come? So as you can see, what was down in there is still wet. So I'm going to have to put the phone up on a stand. Oh, I missed a bit. Oh well, how's it get any better? That is so cool. I wonder if any light will come through it. I'll have to plug it in and give it a go. So give me uh, two secs and I will clean this up and we'll try it out. Those of you that are wondering where I got these twisted light bulbs from, they came with the room. Um, when we bought this property, we already had these light fittings and we've never replaced a bulb. <laughs> um, but when I installed my unit, the bulbs had to be taken out of the other set over there. You can see behind that painting um, because they didn't fit because of the shelving. So I have put it up here into the roof light and uh, let's turn it on. Well, the light comes on. There's definitely some pin pricks in that paint. Probably air bubbles that have popped. It works. Uh, not sure how long it will take before it gives off some offensive smells though. I don't think I'm going to let it. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Oh, it's starting to smoke. I'm turning that off. <laughs> there you go. That's how long it takes before it makes offensive smells. Not long at all. But maybe you could pour on LED lights. They don't make heat. Um, who knows? Anyway, guys, that's it for this wonky donkey video. How much fun can you have pouring on 3D contraptions that you've never poured on before? And when you have, join us on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Go to the events page and show us your photos, show us your videos, show us what you did. And um, we'd love to celebrate you pouring on something you've never poured on before. That's 3D. I had to do you all. Have fun. See you soon. Bye.